Hello, welcome to the World Light Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I will be going over this week's problem of the week. Uh, we'd like to wish you a great start to a cool semester, and we hope things go very well. So we have a uh, welcome back from the week for you. If you want the full problem and solution transcript, script, you can look in the description of our YouTube video, and you will find a link to our blog post about it. So without further ado, let's get started. So this week's problem of the week is a probability question, and you are given the average, which is a whopping 93% uh, for students at this school, and you are given a standard deviation of 6. So the question, first part of the question asks you, if you pick 12 people from this population of the school, what is the probability that uh, your average is going to be greater than 90 of this smaller population? Uh, so we're going to use the standard normal uh, curve. We're going to use z-values, a z-table for that. I will provide that in the blog post. And we're going to use that to solve this question. So, I like to use y-bar for the average. So, probability of y-bar is greater than 90. We're going to hit it with some pretty normal procedures in terms of statistics. I'm going to start by turning it into 1 minus p and I am going to apply this now. Y minus average, standard deviation over square root of n. We have 90 for y for uh, the other side. We want the average to be greater than 90. Um, we have the population average is 93. Divide that by standard deviation is 6. n was given, 12. OK, so I've turned it into this notation because when I put it as probability of this, which is going to be z, less than that, then we can use the standard uh, normal curve. We can use a z table because it goes from area from the left to where we find our z value. So by evaluating this, uh, we come to this. We can check our standard z table. We find that the probability of z, or the area under z less than negative 1.732. Well, that's a really low number for a z value. It's just a mere 4.2%. So it's looking like when we pull 12 random people from this population, we have a 96% chance that their average is going to be greater than an A minus. So that's really good. <laughs> so the second part of the question doesn't give you an N, but rather asks you for how many people would you need to take in order for your probability of the average test score being between 92 and 94 to be greater than 60%. So it's a very similar problem with a very similar setup, but instead we are going to write this down. And this is basically the representation of the question. I'm going to add the greater than 60% uh, after I write a little bit more and do the same thing I did earlier. Again, set up the problem. We're ready to process it and then use the z-table to find our answer. Uh, this will simplify. So basically, we want to find um, these are equal to little z's. We can call this positive z for now. We can call this negative z for now. And so basically, we have this, and all we need to do is plug it in, basically, see when the area that we're looking for between the intervals is equal to 0.6%. Because um, standard normal distribution curve, we just want to find the area underneath that equal to what we want it to be. So we can easily plug this in. I will use this notation for area under the z curve. You might have seen it if you've taken a probability statistics class. And we know there's symmetry, so we can just make it so that there's not even two variables, so to speak, and make it so we can solve for one. So I've used that property that I spoke about just now, turning it into this. Now we have fz of z twice, and I'm going to solve. So instead of having to deal with two different z values, we only see one. We've solved for it. 
Uh, so when is the area of this curve equal, going to be equal to 0.8? Uh, well, we consult our z-table and we find that that's going to happen when little z is equal, greater than uh, 0 0.84. So if we have little z is equal to 0 0.84, well, that's great. We can just solve for uh, n in that case. I'll write that down. Solve for n, get that n needs to be greater than 25.4. We're talking about people here, so I like to round the nearest whole number. So if you take 26 people from this population, you have a greater than 60% chance that you are going to have, the average is going to be between 92 and 94. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week's problem of the week. We hope your test scores are as high as these or higher. Uh, we hope you have an awesome start to your school year. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more problems like this, you can click up here to see playlists of problems of the week and advanced knowledge problems of the week. You can click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can visit us at centerofmath.org, right here. And if you're on a mobile device, uh, you will see an I in that corner up there. If you click it, you should get the same links. Thank you so much for watching again, and we hope you have a great start to your school year.